23 shots good on profile 23. 10-4, we'll go ahead and take care of that. I'm Kelly Markham, Public Information Officer for Caltrans District 7. I'm here at the intersection of Empire Avenue and Victory Place in Burbank. Uh, this is where a ground-penetrating radar operation is underway. It's part of the utility relocation for the Empire Project. And here to tell me more about it is Bob Vasquez. He is the California Survey Manager for David Evans and Associates. Hi, Bob. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you, Kelly. Nice to be here. All right. So ground penetrating radar. What exactly is that? So it's uh, basically in the short term, it's it's getting the penetration of the ground. Um, hence, hence the word ground penetrating radar. So if you look at a lot of things we do, um, we do most of it above surface. And what we're trying to do here is to, to find everything below, especially utilities, because um, it's very important to understand the location and elevations of all the utilities on the ground. Okay, and so why does it make sense for a project like this? Because of the utilities, every utility on a project uh, is, is the Achilles heel of any construction. Um, there's not enough data, data is always missing, utilities are sold, uh, so the, the understanding of where as built, of where all these utilities lie, is really problematic. So uh, over and over and over we have agencies that are really uh, would like to know where these are, but because they're underground you can't see them. So we've been trying to find solutions on, on the best type of way uh, to get that information from the, without having to dig up things. So it's a less intrusive way of finding these utilities. And what we're finding is uh, with the use of this type of technology, the advanced, I would say advanced ground penetrating radar, is uh, you get to get rid of and reduce the amount of potholing that you have to do on jobs. So I imagine that would help save a little money on some of these projects. Absolutely. The uh, return on investment, uh, we're seeing uh, our subconsultant we're using today, uh, Geo Geophysics, um, their, their return is probably a four and a half to five for every dollar spent on a project. So that's, in the long run, that's significant savings for a project. It is a significant savings. Tell us a little bit more about the science. How exactly does GPR work? So in an essence, it's kind of like you would in an airplane on a radar. So uh, radar emits a, a pulse, and whenever it encounters an object or an obstacle, it'll send a signal back. And then that gets to know where the depth of, like in an aircraft, it'll get to know how, far, how high it is or where it is in relationship to where you're at. The same thing here. We're using, it's sending pulses into the ground, and a single GPR unit will send one transmission and one receiver uh, in itself as it moves along, and it's just a one-foot path. The advanced system that we have here has an array of uh, GPR units, so you're getting uh, 16 channels at one time, shooting, you know, transmitting and receiving signals. How far down are we able to go with this technology? So it really depends on the type of soil. So it is penetrating the, the ground, so as anything that's, anything that's shooting a signal or, or transmitting something, it really depends on how what's blocking. If you look at, once again, in the airspace, uh, the heavier and denser the air, it's going to reduce the amount of signal that you can, and, and for the distance you can go. Same thing applies to here. As you penetrate, the, the thicker the clay, um, then it's not going to penetrate as deep. So the sandier the soil, th that's going to be the best solution here, and that way you can penetrate deeper. And I think we're just a few hours into this operation today. How, how much longer is it going to take? Uh, it's really a fast system, because it is towed uh, behind a vehicle. Uh, we can usually, uh, this array system is, um, we can go regular speed, so it's just a slow uh, 20 mile an hour type collection, um, which it really it, it helps, you know, keeping people off the road. Um, and then, but the amount of data it's collecting is, that's, that's a real fascinating part of it. All right, today the team is out here collecting all of the data. Ultimately, what are we going to end up with? So uh, in a few weeks, two or three weeks after it's all processed, we're going to import it to our, our model we have now. Um, we already have a, a rough draft of all the design on all the underground utilities. We've taken the design plans for this pilot area. We've created uh, 3D models of all the uh, of the uh, retaining walls, the footing, the storm drain is supposed to be done here, all the planned utilities. Uh, we've actually found some conflict already. Um, that whole package, once it's all done, we're going to present it uh, to Metro and Caltrans at a, at a meeting and really and show what, showcase what why 3D civil ground um, BIM or SIM civil engineering modeling is great for projects at the design stage rather than right before construction. 
Well, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Bob, thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Sure, my, my pleasure.